All right, gun's not firing. We're gonna do a bend angle adjustment. So nothing happening, pull the trigger hard, nothing, nothing fires. So we take the back plate off, push down on the spacer sleeve, take the back plate off, slowly bring the slide down. Do everything here except pull the trigger. Pull it back, pins go down, and we're gonna reinsert this. The gun doesn't fire, it's due to the lift on the actual connector. So let's take the gun apart and get down to the trigger housing where the connector lays. Okay, so what's happening is the amount of lift this connector has here in this orientation, see the side view, it's not lifted far enough away from the actual trigger housing. The connector is a spring and needs to be lifted away from it. So this is a hand adjustment that's going to happen by taking the connector out. And you can take off the trigger bar if you'd like. And you're going to turn the connector clockwise 180 degrees and place it into the trigger housing incorrectly. Just like that. Now we have to lift the angle up. So we're going to grab the trigger housing like this. Put our pointer finger underneath, our thumb above, and we're going to lift. We're going to be pushing this way, turning it this way. So three times tugging it. One, two, three. That's all you're doing. Once you turn it in the correct orientation and look, you'll see that the lift here is now higher away from the trigger housing. That looks like it should be enough for it to fire. Let's reassemble this real quick and check to see if it works. And the weapon now fires. Keep in mind, here's another trigger housing that if the trigger is rubbing against your slide, so let's let's just see how far off this one is. It's lifted up way too much right here. See, it's a, it's a high lift. If you're getting slide drag, then the fix for that is the same thing with the orientation, okay, like that. But this time, instead of lifting up, we're going to press down, and you're going to get as much of this, put your thumb here, as much of the connector here, and you're going to do it three tugs. One, two, three. And you'll notice that the connector now seats just a little bit lower. And that will help with the slide drag, because it's dragging because of the reset lobe here is hitting your slide. Call us with any questions.